between act three of Hedda Gabler. In the morning, Hedda Gabler is asleep on the couch, but Mrs. Elvstead sat up all night waiting for Eilert Loveborg. Berta brings in a letter for George from Miss Juliana Tessman. Hedda wakes up. Soon, George comes tiptoeing in and recounts a wild night out, especially for Eilert. To Hedda's surprise, he takes Eilert's manuscript from his coat pocket. Eilert misplaced it when he was drunk. Then, learning from the letter that his Aunt Rena is dying, George leaves. Hedda hides the manuscript in a drawer. Judge Brack drops by and explains that Eilert got into a fight with the madam of a local brothel and assaulted a police officer. Judge Brack says Eilert is no longer fit for respectable society. Before he leaves, Judge Brack admits he wants to see Eilert ruined to prevent Eilert from taking his place in a triangle with Mr. and Mrs. Tessman. Judge Brack leaves via the back garden just before Eilert, agitated and possibly still drunk, arrives and declares that he and Mrs. Elvstead must part ways before he ruins her life like he's ruined his own. Mrs. Elvstead insists on remaining by his side, but then he declares he's torn his manuscript to pieces and thrown it into the sea. For Mrs. Elvstead, who helped Eilert compose this manuscript, this act is tantamount to murdering a child. Devastated, she leaves. With Mrs. Elvstead gone, Eilert confesses he just lost the manuscript, not destroyed it. But this is both the end of his career and of his relationship with Mrs. Elvstead. The only course left is suicide. Hedda, seemingly prepared for this moment, gives him one of her two pistols and urges him to end his life beautifully. He takes the pistol and leaves. Hedda takes the manuscript from its hiding place and incinerates it in the stove. Vine leaf imagery in this act suggests a pattern of genuine hope and disillusionment. Eilert is no glorious Dionysus-like figure, the ancient Greek god of wine and revelry, traditionally pictured with vine leaves in his hair. Hedda had once envisioned him to be. Hedda's tossing Eilert's manuscript into the fire piece by piece, muttering or gloating about burning Mrs. Elvstead and Eilert's child, suggests an attitude of bitter envy and vindictiveness at their life together. But Hedda's reaction is more than garden variety jealousy. The fact is, Mrs. Elvstead is good for Eilert in a way Hedda simply cannot match, a realization that adds a malicious, vicious edge to Hedda's treatment of the couple.